The 28th virtual flag raising ceremony was held on Monday, October 19, 2020, with the Provincial General Services being the host office. PGSO under Matthew Valiaser showcased their numerous major achievements for the year. In the course of the regular Monday flag hoisting, Dr. Jerry Kalingasan, being the head of the provincial task force, announced that the number of new COVID-19 positive cases reported each day has plummeted the past few days. The massive lockdowns of certain areas in each affected municipality, including the aggressive social distancing measures implemented, greatly contributed to the significantly decrease of COVID-positive patients in the province. Governor Bambe Emano was thrilled to know that we now have the opportunity to see how Misamis Oriental manages a possible resurgence of COVID-19. It was also on Monday that the provincial government of Misamis Oriental turned over 244,000 pesos meal allowance to the officers and men from the PNP, AFP, and CAFGU manning the Lugait Veterinary Quarantine Station in Lugait, Misamis Oriental. In a ceremonial turnover, Governor Bambi, together with Dr. Benjamin Resma, head of PVET, handed the replica check to Police Captain Edgardo Balido, the Chief of Police from Lugait, the joint operation of the uniformed personnel with the assistance from the Provincial Veterinary, aims to heighten the inspection of vehicles as part of the implementation of the order banning entry of live pigs and pork meat products to prevent the spread of the African swine fever in the province. Captain Balido expressed his gratefulness to the father of Miss Oriental Governor Bambe Emano, assuring him that the police will do its best to prevent the entry of ASF as well as intensify the spread of COVID-19 in Lugait's point of entry. Furthermore, on Monday, Police Colonel Robert Troy Bahian relinquished his duties and responsibilities to the former Regional Chief of ABCU-10, Police Colonel Raniel Valones, as the newly installed Acting Police Provincial Director of the Provincial Police Office. The turnover of command ceremony was graced by no less than the Regional Director of PRO-10, Police Brigadier General Rolando Anduyan, with PRO Directorial Staff, Chief of National Support Unit, PDRRMO Head Fernando Vincent Lee Jr. and Sangguniang Panalawigan Board Member Dexter Yazai as representative of Governor Bambi Emano. On the said event, the outgoing provincial director recognized for rendering his service invaluably during his time from June 28, 2019 to October 14, 2020 as Miss or PPO Provincial Director that contributed so much in attaining Misamis Oriental mission and vision. Police Colonel Bahian extended his gratitude to the people of Misamis Oriental, to local government units and stakeholders for their support and cooperation to the PNP and to the men and women of MIS or PPO for personifying professionalism throughout its service as provincial director. The turnover of command ceremony was held at MIS or PPO PHQ in San Martin, Villanueva, Misamis Oriental. On Tuesday, October 20, 2020, Governor Bambe Emano announced that the Alubihid Isolation Facility will start serving the province on November of 2020. This after its construction was temporarily halted due to the TRO issued by the court against the 2020 annual budget of the province. The 26-bed facility is the most modern isolation facility in the whole region and will serve the entirety of the province. The completion of the project is another testament to Governor Bambi Emano's ability to be always one step ahead of everyone in protecting the people against COVID-19. Also on Tuesday, to support the barangay population volunteers and municipal population officers, especially during this time of pandemic, the Provincial Population Office of Misamis Oriental provided 415 sets of face shields and 415 pieces of disposable face mask to the BPVs. In addition, the MPOs also received their meal allowance for the second quarter. As protection against this deadly virus, 23 PPE suits 
units were given to the 23 MPOs designate. The Personal Protective Equipment or PPEs were received by the 360 active BPVs and 23 MPOs of Misamis Oriental. Mr. Andrew Gapuz, PPO head, expressed his gratefulness for the support that the provincial government of Misamis Oriental under the leadership of Governor Bambe Eman has given to them during this difficult time. On Wednesday, October 21, 2020, adhering to Governor Bambi Emano's mandate of expanding the provincial government's livelihood assistance program alongside implementing economic recovery plans, Committee on Agriculture Chairman Frederick Eric Koo and Provincial Agriculture Office Head Jose Apollo Pacamalan facilitated the Bangus Harvest Day of Malingen Igpit Fisher Folks SLPA Fish Cage Project in Malingen Opal, Misamis Oriental. 8,000 fingerlings were initially turned over to the beneficiaries on July 1, of which 6,900 survived and were harvested with a total of 2,100.65 kilograms. Mr. Junishu Yek, Kahugpungan sa Gagmay Mananagat sa Malingin Opal President, thanked Governor Bambi Emano for his assistance and pointed that despite the pandemic and limited financial resources of the government, the governor never ceased in aiding fisher folks like him in improving their livelihood. This project is in line with Governor Bambi Emano's mandate of ensuring the food security of Misamis Oriental as one of the vital parameters in safeguarding the province against the pandemic while at the same time continuing the livelihood assistance program of the provincial government. Still on Wednesday, through PAGROS Operations Division Chief and Partnership Linkages Resource Person Michelle Ross Lasse, the partnership with one of the world's largest abaca product company and also one of the world's biggest buyer of abaca fiber products, New Tech Pulp Incorporated, has come into fruition to help Misamis Oriental becoming one of the leading sources of abaca fibers nationally. The first ever Misamisnans to become consolidators and suppliers of abaca fiber for new tech pulp, the Mat'i Higawunan Free Farmers Association Incorporated has successfully sold almost 2,000. The delivery of the said abaca fibers was also made easy for Mahifa by the market facilitation team of Pagro who facilitated the transport of their products. Furthermore, the province of Misamis Oriental conducted the 6th local school board meeting held on October 21, 2020, Wednesday, at the Provincial Training Center. The said meeting was attended by Governor Bambi Emano. Various projects such as the construction or rehabilitation of school building or facilities in secondary and elementary, construction of daycare centers in various municipalities of the province, completion of Bulilit Center Phase 2 located in Capital Compound, construction of covered courts, purchase of ICT hardwares, softwares, other expenses such as bond papers to be distributed in different schools and divisions, water supply system and other equipment needed to the schools were approved during the meeting. The projects mentioned are envisioned to be of benefit and develop the education sector of the province, securing that the next generation of Misa Misnans will get the best education they rightfully deserve. Additionally, on Wednesday, personnel from the Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office transported three positive COVID-19 patients to each of their municipality isolation unit in Lagunglong, Alubihid, and Mantikao MOPH. The Provincial Health Office confirmed that the three patients were employees from Don Gregorio Pelay Sports Complex and was said to have close contact with another positive patient. The three underwent RT-PCR test or swab test on Monday and the outcome yielded a positive result on Wednesday that prompted the sports complex to temporarily close for disinfection and sanitation. October 22, 2020, Thursday, the Department of Agriculture under Bureau of Soils and Water Management in coordination of Provincial Agriculture Officer Pagro conducted a province-wide soil health assessment national soil sampling and testing all over Misamis Oriental 
including hinterlands of Cagayan de Oro City. This project is to determine the level of nutrients found in a soil sample taken in a particular field. Armed with this information, farmers can define the quantity of fertilizer and exact type that is needed for application to improve the soil on the farm. This is also essential because fertile soils are necessary to grow healthy crops. Also happening on Thursday, the Department of Health Center for Health and Development Northern Mindanao launched its BIDA Solutions a COVID-19 campaign last July 4 of 2020. That encourages a change in the behavior and mindset of every Filipino through these key preventive measures. Bawal ang walay mask, isanitize ang mga kamot, distansya ug usa ka metro, aksyon base sa insakto nga impormasyon. As such, in support of this campaign, Dr. Beverly Ho, Director of Health Promotion and Communication Services, DOH Central Office, along with her staff, has visited the Provincial Health Office of Misamis Oriental last Thursday, October 22. She was cordially welcomed by Provincial Health Officer and Provincial IAPF Chief, Dr. Jerry Kalingasan, and the PHO Health Education Promotion Officers. During the course of the visit, Director Beverly Ho had a few questions to Dr. Kalingasan with regards to province's response to COVID and the challenges encountered in implementing the minimum public health standards. Dr. Kalingasan explained how the province, in full support of Governor Bambi, has been managing COVID cases and elaborated on the readiness of the province of Misamis Oriental in the event of surge. Furthermore, Director Ho was impressed with how cooperative all the municipalities are in terms of responding to the executive orders issued by the governor and reinforced with the guidelines from the provincial IATF and the DOH. Moreover, on Thursday, Provincial Board Member Eric Ku and Provincial Agriculturist Tosepolo Pakamalan personally visited the Ulong Tea Processing Center in Calagono, Hingoog City. Part of the visit is the inspection of the Ulong Tea Nursery and how the facility operates in general. The said officials also coordinated with Moresco II to address the problem on power supply and ensure that the operation of the laboratory remains unhampered. Co-chairs, the Agriculture Committee in the Sangguniang Panlalawigan and vowed to support the only Ulong tea processing facility in the country. On Friday, October 23, the Provincial Agriculture Office facilitated the first ever Misamis Oriental Coconut Industry Stakeholders Forum in partnership with the Philippine Coconut Authority Region 10 in Harbor Lights Hotel, Cagayan de Oro City. Farmers and fisher folk leaders, national government agencies, municipal and city agriculture officers, members of the academe, and the business sector attended to draft the Provincial Coconut Industry Development Plan for Misamis Oriental envisioned for the next five years. Several programs were proposed, different strategies were discussed, aiming to strengthen the coconut industry in the province, increase the income of the farmers, and to put Misamis Oriental in the map as one top producer of quality coconut products. The provincial government under Governor Bambi, through provincial agriculture, has always been committed in helping each one of us, especially farmers, not only to create a favorable living, but also to address food security, food sufficiency, and food sustainability in the province. Also on Friday, members of the Association of Tourism Officers of Misamis Oriental, led by Provincial Tourism Officer Attorney Jeffrey Saklot, gathered together in Balinguan, 21 tourism officers from different municipalities and cities with distinguished guest Mayor Aaron Anabia joined the assembly. Owing to the pandemic, the meeting focused mainly on the plan to hold a virtual celebration of the upcoming 8th Kuyamis Festival early next year. With two or more months before the activity, tourism officers are already preparing for the unconventional, innovative Kuyamis Festival. Attorney Saklot said that the province will find ways to continue the festival without compromising the health of the public amid the coronavirus pandemic. The tourism officers are continuously gathering all inputs on how we can push through. 
Also on Friday, the Human Resource Management Office successfully conducted the first virtual orientation for the newly hired employees of the PGMO via the Google Meet. Following some basic guidelines, HRMO under Ms. Jessica Galindo ensure that new employees receive the information and training they need and feel that they are part of the provincial capital. It is critical that we continue to support and manage all new hires as normally and consistently as possible as they take notch higher amid the pandemic. And from October 17 to 23, 57 returning overseas Filipinos arrived in Misamis Oriental via airlines and sea travel, while 227 LSIs were also welcomed by the Travel and Arrival Committee of the province of Misamis Oriental and Peso. Ms. Zorobabel Waberabe from the Provincial Public Employment Services Office said that they will continue to assist in the profiling of this misamisnance. She stressed that those who wish to avail of further assistance are being referred directly to the Provincial Social Welfare and Development Office. What you have seen was amazing to see because what we do here matters. But in a world of term limits, skeptics say we cannot get much accomplished. But to them I say, just watch us. Through storms and floods and hard times, the people of Misamis Oriental never give up or give in. Even in our darkest hours, the Misamisnan spirit will always prevail. Jinky Rasid, PIO.